Poor boy coming at you. Hey guys, as you can see on the video right at this part, I'm actually getting ready to start the video. Um, however, we did lose our uh, intro uh, for some reason. I don't know what happened with the SD card. But I uh, just wanted to say hello to every one of you and thank you for uh, stopping by. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Have a great time. All right, guys, so we're back over here and uh, we're gonna start doing a little bit of sanding. Um, the weather ain't looking all that good anyway. Uh, as you guys know, it's been raining here basically every day and the uh, window that I get to uh, work on the project is slim to none. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give it a shot, see uh, how far we could take it for today. And uh, if not, I'll have to make a, a continuing part to this video or, you know, blend it in. So. Let me just get started with that. Alright guys, so it did start raining uh, while we were uh, sanding down the cowl, so uh, some of it got wet a little bit, so it got soft again, so I've put it away for now, it stopped raining again, so we got a little break. Um, as you guys know from the previous video, I had uh, started sanding down all this uh, fender, and uh, now I'm just going to spend some time, I'm going to remove this here, and uh, I'm going to give this a covering. Uh, so that way it uh, stops it from rusting. Now, I, I normally would use uh, what would be like an epoxy clear coat from like a floor finishing. But right now what I'm going to use is some uh, clear lacquer. So let's see how that goes. Um, all I really need is for it to coat so that way it does not continue to rust. So I'm going to get started on that and uh, enjoy the time lapse. So let's go. All right, guys. So as you guys saw, I was uh, able to pull out the uh, emblem here for the F-250. And uh, I will be removing all this glue here. I'm going to see if I could get uh, a 3M eraser wheel to get all this stuff out. But uh, it's not really needed since it's just this little piece here. I'm sure I could do it... Uh, in another way without having to spend uh, those things go for about 35 40 dollars just for the wheel so i may just uh do this little by little by hand and then clean it out with some good old acetone but for now we're going to cover the rest of it so that way it doesn't continue to rust and that's also going to protect it for when we start doing the mold uh for the fiberglass pieces so i got myself some uh clear uh, lacquer so we're gonna go give this a light coat with a brush So that's the second coat on there. I think that should be enough to protect the metal. Uh, the other reason I did this is because once uh, we start doing the mold, um, we have to apply a release agent that is gonna help uh, detach the mold from the dye itself. And if we don't have a smooth surface, it's gonna cling on and it's gonna be a 
mess to try to get it off, possibly breaking even the mold. So I'm gonna do that for now. Uh, let me see what else I could get myself into before the day is over. It's already uh, a little bit later in the afternoon. Well, evening, really. Um, but let's see what else I could get myself into here. Oh yeah, I wanna go ahead and uh, put some of this on the cardboard inserts that we put on two or three videos ago when we did the grill. Uh, so let's uh, change the cameras over and uh, we'll take it from there. As you guys remember, I had covered all these uh, vents here with the cardboard uh, on one of our uh, previous videos. And uh, today I'm gonna try to seal those cardboard pieces with uh, some of this uh, clear uh, lacquer that we've been using. So that way when, once again, when we start putting uh, the stuff to make the mold, you want it to be able to detach uh, for you to remove and be able to you know continue the process so if this is porous it's going to want to uh, cling on with the resin so we want to kind of clear coat it uh, so that way it uh, prevents that also from happening so let me go ahead and start on that have a little fun at it why not <laughs> guys so right here I have a block of sculpturing clay this is non hardening non hardening uh, clay so the reason we're gonna be using this is because all these little areas like this and between the uh, headlights and all that stuff we want to go ahead and uh, seal it in between so that way when we do the mold, it doesn't cling on there and making it almost impossible to uh, separate the mold afterwards. So we're gonna have uh, some fun with this. Uh, keep in mind guys, this is very inexpensive also. Uh, you could use, uh, I believe it's called paraffin wax or something like that, uh, which is what's normally used in this uh, application. But this stuff, you could get five pounds for about under 20 bucks. Uh, here's one pound, a, a one pound block, and let's see how much it renders us. So let's jump right to it here. It's kind of like playing with Play-Doh. In uh, other parts of the world, they call this plasticine. So it's basically the same thing <laughs> in my eyes anyway. So here's how I'm going to do it here, placing it like that, just like that, all through the groove. Like so, add some more here. see we've covered the gap in between so now we gotta kind of smooth it out so it's uniform uh, I'm pulling out too much here we'll come back at that one here like so we'll hit it up again like this like so out 
you can see now it's pretty even and we've covered that gap and we're going to continue doing that all around the headlights and this gap right down here and uh we'll give it a full send so as the airplane goes by So let's jump you back into the time lapse uh, where you guys don't get bored on me here. All right, see you in a bit. Alright Cold Rollers, so we're back in the studio all cleaned up, feeling fresh, feeling good. As you guys know, we went ahead and uh, worked a little bit on that uh, fender. We also did uh, a little bit more on the cowl. Uh, however, the rain did get us again, once again a little bit. So um, we moved, uh, took a little break and moved over to working on the truck itself. And we used some of that modeling clay and uh, filled in all the gaps in the grill and and uh, you know wherever the grill meets the the headlight bezel and the headlight bezel to the headlight as well as the fenders and all that good stuff um, due to the fact that once we build the mold we're gonna want it to be you know completely sealed up or else the fiberglass and the resin will go in there and that'll just make a big mess and uh, it's quite difficult to pull out uh, when you're gonna separate the mold itself from the die but we did get something done as always you know one little bit you do today is a little bit less you got to do tomorrow and uh that's definitely uh making me happy because we're moving forward and that's the great thing but uh yeah i want to remind every one of you if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel please do so and make sure you hit that little bell down there so that way you're reminded of all our videos and you don't miss out um a lot of you have given us some good comments about you know the tutorial thing itself and I'm, I'm stoked that you guys are loving it but the, I am trying to uh, refine it a little bit you know so that way you guys don't have a such a long video like the one before I'm trying to see how I could you know shorten it out a little make it a little bit easier for your pleasure uh, of watching it and enjoying it but thank you so much always for watching thank you for subscribing those of you who have and like I said if you haven't please do so I really appreciate all, all the support you guys are giving us. And a uh, big shout out to the Diesel Podcast. Make sure you guys uh, listen to their podcast. It's really, really cool. You can find them on iTunes. They're really, really cool. They, they got a lot of information coming out there uh, from different drivers with different builds. And they can, you can get those little hints and tips that y'all might be wanting to just put you over that edge that you really want to get to. So stay tuned uh, for our next video. I'm going to be continuing with this build i'm doing kind of like a i don't know a series <laughs> uh so that way you guys could uh jump into it on the playlist a whole lot easier but i really appreciate it and like i always say guys let the coal roll <laughs>